You know it's pretty vibey. Crack. Yes. Segway. If you want to do crack and go to an event, the the like the main uh venue in New Jersey or like one of the big main ones is the PNC Banks Art Center, which is an amphitheater for like almost everything. You can buy like tickets that are like way cheaper. Where you're basically like you're just on a hill that like goes down into the amphitheater, <laughs> sure. and you just like you can just like bring bring like like blankets and like food, and you just like. You pay like way less and you just like chill on a hill and you That's can like watch and still hear and everything. <laughs> bro. So you can just get, if you ever want to get toasted vibe. and vibe and chill yeah. on a hill for a show for like one tenth of the price. Yeah, so that sounds way better. Yeah. 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 I love hills. Who doesn't love, love a good hill to see? You don't, you don't shut Who up about doesn't? hills. It's kind of insane how much you talk about hills. Have you seen that picture where it's all the different biomes? In Minecraft? No, just like the biomes in real life. It's really cool. I have to look at it and think like, where would I like to live? Why live one biome when in game I can live all biomes? Yo, put that on a shirt. Picture a Master Chief stroking his fucking cock. I don't- I'm not a loser because I have one biome, but because I choose to live <laughs> in many. many. I can save the princess in one biome. How many times do I have to tell you, Mom, the princess I can save the princess in the biome. Also, I can do a good Joker impression if you want to hear it. I'm the biome, baby! That's all I got. Yep. And we're back. Hey, welcome and to we're back. Beef's back. Fucking idiot. Welcome to Beef. If you're, if you're watching right now, um, you, viewer, I'm talking to you, leave your favorite fucking biome in the comments. <laughs> yeah, let us know your favorite Google biome. Google biome and then uh, s yeah. put the top result in the comments. Yeah, hey, I welcome, do that. Hey, we're kind of, we're getting back into a regular beef schedule. It feels good. I, uh, yeah. I guess because I was, I was in fucking America. I, it, it got all, you were fucking all silly. Yeah. Um, fucking America. Yeah, but we back. Yeah, we did. For the most part, we're, even though Dopex missed last week's episode because he was getting a haircut, we, <laughs> I, we, we still we still had an episode recorded. Yeah. That's all that matters. And James was asleep. James, see if my James was, was asleep, which is fair. What enough. the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> James, James doesn't even care. Guy. I wasn't there, bro. <laughs> no, it was no, just yours. No, was, uh, don't James was, was much cutting funnier. my hair. That was <laughs> yeah. <true. laughs> I was cutting his hair in my. I was in my avatar state. Yeah. I was in. I was putting my Second hair penis character. in his hair penis. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Connected. Yo, do you think in Avatar that is their fucking cocks? The little. I think that's that implied, isn't it? Like, it's isn't that how they have six? But why? Like why that? would James Cameron write that? Like, why? Because like, it's far what? more sensual. The hair? Fucking yeah. with aliens. Hair? It's like because they don't fuck with USB. it. They just put it together and they exchange fucking common <laughs> seeds. <laughs> yeah, cool DNA. Do you think that feels good? Like, do you think if we had hair, hair, penis, and vagina, and like, and that, just like, like touched? Personally, I prefer uh, I prefer a hairy vagina. So. Oh really? You're one of you think you're one of those. <laughs> you're one of God's creatures. James likes to play. Yeah, I like it all natural. <laughs> James, one of God's special little guys. Actually, yeah. if you like a woman to shave her pussy, you're actually a. Uh, you're actually a. Uh, <laughs> children don't grow hair. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that you're like you're like I, w I want a girl with massive titties, a huge ass, so like a fully developed body, but I want no hair I because no I love hair. children. There was there was a thread. She's on that less than on five Twitter, foot two. You actually love children. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because James Small is people saying do not this, deserve but somebody, love people because it makes me uncomfortable. That. <laughs> no, dude, yeah, it's funny. Wasn't there? There was that one. Um, I can't remember if we talked about it on beef, but there was that guy who there was a girl and she had some kind of like uh, something was wrong. I can't think of what it was like a dwarfism kind of thing, but she literally just looked like yeah. a child. Like she was oh, like yeah, we she was like twenty five. We did talk about yeah. that. <laughs> she was like then, an eight that, year old. Yeah, it's actually now, the if, he makes, now, if he makes her conundrum. shame, then that's weird. <laughs> yeah, it's the it's you the, it's the cure to Julia. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine if that was the one deal breaker? He's like, no, nah, no razors in the house. I gotta I gotta I retain my dignity somehow. <laughs> That's his like. That's his he's fucking like, shield. I saw it online. He's yeah. like, no, 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 no. <laughs> check, check her pussy. It's Harry. Check her pussy. Look, he's see, at, he's at Trader Joe's and no, like totally unprompted. I know what you're thinking, but check her pussy. Imagine if they had kids. Oh, Just getting Imagine weird they had kids looks at the Trader the kid Joe's. Is, the kid doesn't have the developmental disorder and just grow like his normal growth. And then yeah. grows up to be the same size as the mum. And they go to like Walmart, and he's like holding hands with the mum. <laughs> While the other daughters is walking next to them. Uh, 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 <laughs> I don't like this. I, don't, like I regret that. bringing this up. I think. Welcome to Beef. Boys. I think our final statement on it was just like, yeah, it seems like something I don't want to be involved in. 
Yeah. Just I don't want like to have an situation on this. all around. Yeah, that's that's the central thesis of us bringing <laughs> yeah, up this that. bit is we want no part in this. <laughs> Yeah, anyway. it was for for those who, who weren't around. Pussy. For those who weren't around for that, it was yeah. this. There was a woman who looked like a child, um, and there was a, a, and then a guy was dating her, like a. But they were both like twenty something, but she felt yeah. like she was like eight, and the the thing was like, does she, she still deserves love though, even though she looks like a child, which hey. is true. But also, <laughs> this mean, guy's straight up dating you know. an eight year old, <laughs> right? Fully grown like, women that aren't eight and are above the age of eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Woo! What about that? Hey, get put your well, hand like this. Put your yeah, hand you like this. If you see what a pussy looks like, put your hand yeah, in and here, then, and then crisscross like this with your your boy, and then like and then fucking hit, open hit his one hand. One of these numbers. Yeah. yeah. And then if you put your finger through. And if you like want a penis, it's gonna look really yeah, cool. You, fu you can fucking prank them. You can be like, yo, chick, yeah, you see what a pussy looks like? Penis. Surprise, bitch. Yeah. And then you, they fucking owe you a coke. Yeah. They owe you a cock. Ah, that's the Lord. Nice. Yeah. A diet cock. Yeah. Diet cock. Yeah. Yeah. We're back. You guys want to see a funny post I found on Reddit? Yes. Yeah, all right. yeah, hell yeah, I dude, would. brother. Let me see this shit. Andrew, build a Reddit set and then put it in here. Andrew, and fucking... Uh, Andrew, build a $500,000 Reddit, Reddit set. Okay. Andrew, fucking... Show us, show us your pussy. Andrew, show Andrew, us your balls. Show us your pussy. Oh, yeah, he's gonna do it. Oh, yo! He fucking... The mad lad did it. Man. It's on my oh, stomach. Is that James's hairy balls? <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. These are my with this, my balls with this are this big. Penises. My tubes are this big. <laughs> <laughs> that would my suck if you had like really <laughs> long pubes. Yo, have you just guys ever pin tried to straight your pubes? too? They like flow in the wind. Straighten your pubes? No, I've, no, I've never. No, no. that's not something I would do. <laughs> I have I have done that. Yeah, is that, a, is that just yeah. like? Yeah. Goofy child, like uh, funny, <laughs> or is this a scene kid? It thing? was it uh, a little bit of both. It wasn't I like a. It, it was. I, <laughs> I, I, I had this. the hair straightener because of the scene kid thing, but Your I also thought it was funny like because Jimmy Butler. I would, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I was like, yeah, what if my cock had bangs? That'd be cool. And then I did it. And I was like, it is right. funny that there's just a point where your pubes know, like, all right, this is enough, and yeah. they just fall out. <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough. <laughs> Fuck out. this. But like, what, how uh, can a hairologist sound off in the comments? What, how you're yeah. here? Because your head here kind of just goes like forever. <laughs> but like the rest right. of your body kind of like it stops at a certain point and then yeah. I guess it just falls out. Wait, I think you have it backwards, my guy. What? I mean, people bald up here. Don't pubes last forever? No, no. Well, I mean, if you don't. <laughs> yeah, but. It, Okay, true. But if you don't go bald, your hair like your hair just grows like forever, really, right? You see girls with fucking hair right. down to their ass and stuff. Yeah, I guess. It's hey, <laughs> girls are temporary, hey. but pubes. Hey, gingers in the audience, does the carpet match the drapes? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> does it? Does the shit? It, does God. the shit does match it? the ass? <laughs> does the the cum match the piss? I'm Yo, really imagine the redheads, but only redheads where the carpets do match the drapes. Was, uh, white. Like we've discussed previously on um okay. on on this show, this like many awesome. men, many I have a Reddit men, specifically men. for beautiful women, butts, boobs, balls, pussies, mm. dicks, and cum. And yeah, porn. brother. Yeah. Inside talking, why see? <laughs> and porn. On top of all of those <laughs> other things, porn as well. This is a, I made sure to log out of my Reddit so none of <laughs> none of my beautiful butt none of your ball secrets and will be spilt. And both of us would be see your, uh, But your as you can see, r slash AOC is. Set. Yeah, when I, yeah, <laughs> as you can see, when I'm signed out Rest of r slash AOC, I specifically look up side talk NYC because it's funny. <laughs> right. But so on my porn account, you know, Reddit li <laughs> Reddit likes to think, hey, you like you like butt balls, pussy, you like real butt balls and pussy and bussy. Now, what about second life butt balls, pussy and bussy? Yo. Super butt balls. Person. Okay, I'm in there. Holy shit, okay. You know, I had the- I didn't have the not safe for work content because, obviously- Trigger warning. I'm already ready for that. So yeah, I exactly. Just, like, I'm mentally scrolled. prepared to see titties, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I scrolled past this and was- and just, like, immediately- not even out of a bad way, but like my dick deflated and my belly inflated with laughter. It was it was a wonderful experience. Okay. And I, did, I didn't even I didn't even jerk you off. Came he started floating away from the his toilet. <laughs> come yes! filled my tummy. <laughs> what the fuck? He's got a, Bro, he has, he's got a digital cock cage. He has a second life <laughs> cock cage on. <laughs> they make that, those? 
That's crazy. They make really? everything in that game, man. man. That's Thank awesome. the Lord. Hey, shout Dude, out imagine, to guy. Bro, imagine you're living your second life. Yeah, and she no, puts your dick in the cage. I feel like that's that's I like I can't some even super come in shit. my second life. <laughs> yeah. Damn it, they also, need third life. <laughs> this woman, the woman who's playing that character for sure is like 48. I oh, wouldn't yeah, even yeah. say it's, it's a woman. It's boogie. <laughs> the, um, <laughs> it, it is interesting seeing the like perfect woman model that like every not only it's it's men and women honestly. Ariana woman, Grande, but what if she was twelve in the face? Yeah, what if right, yeah? That's what like if she was half Asian and models. twelve? That is apparent. <laughs> according, according to Second Life and the like Bethesda <laughs> modding scene, that is the perfect woman. Because I've been yeah. looking to get yeah. into Skyrim or Fallout again lately, I've been looking and to all get the into top fun. mods <laughs> are shit. Like, yeah. and, like all the <laughs> yeah, no, literally. I've been doing oh, research. Yeah. I've been in that for a while. <laughs> but every every one of the like top mods is like, with, you know, the ones that like update the oh, faces yeah, and yeah, shit. Because yeah, yeah. Bethesda faces are like kind of shitty. But like you think like I'll make them look a bit more attractive, but not like you know, crap. But like they're literally like something out of like I don't know Final Fantasy or some anime game. It just it doesn't yeah. fit the aesthetic at all. And the, all the women look like they're twelve with huge. But you don't understand. Really she's weird. a four hundred year old weird. Nord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, if you, if, if, you download, high, dude. if you download one of those apps that adds boobs and takes the underwear off and you get the five choices of like normal, busty, triple D, yeah. like petite, <laughs> extra petite, if you pick yeah. petite or extra petite, you're a pedophile. <laughs> if, you, if you're AKA modding the games Jared to make them Subway. smaller, you're, uh, <laughs> they put you on a list. They yeah, actually that, it actually just shame. pings your local police department. Yeah. <laughs> if you try and do that, your computer's Sick like, fuck. I'm sorry, I can't do that Joe for Biden. you. <laughs> do you think there's any do you think there's any second life? <laughs> oh, prob- that sure is honestly probably like ninety percent. Yeah. Dude, yeah, we yeah, have the no, same percentage. <laughs> same percentage. You, you think it, it can't get it, it can't get any worse. like even <laughs> even motherfuckers in prison kill the pedophiles. You know, it, you know, it can't get yeah. any worse than that. What it, if you're a second life file? Is that worse? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, uh, yeah. I, I mean, it's, it's. I suppose if it's sadder, it's, but it's less. It's, sadder. Uh, it's not as fucked up necessarily because they're not actually enacting anything on a real child. Uh, but you show the. I'm, whoa, 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 whoa! Before uh, Doublex uh, has read into I'm that sorry. sentence <laughs> as me saying. <laughs> files are cool on second life i'm saying specifically <laughs> saying specifically fuck them both but like one of them is less you know mm. they didn't actually fuck up a child for life they were just right. interacting imagine with another 48 year old imagine going to prison oh, because okay. of police sting right. got you know in like to be pinged to phone in second life so like <laughs> not only are you the bottom of the ranks everyone knows you're a file you're like you were if I want a video game, <laughs> you had the buff, option to be ass. you had the option to be anything in your second life, and yeah. you still chose to file. It's like a buff Chris Hansen, like 3D. Yeah, it's see. like a buff Chris Hansen with a huge e cock bulge. Down. It's actually yeah. the one Press time e the courts will offer you to for suicide. They're like, you can actually just kill yourself. We'll make it legal in the. Make it legal in second life. To file on a video yeah. game, you can either go kill to jail or start just start a new one. Just end your shit. Yeah. I don't think you can. I don't think you can be on Second Life just because, like, the average age of, like, the player base of that is, you know, kind of around the same as point. the average person who owns two properties. Yeah. So there's, there's kind of a correlation there. So I, I think even if you were like, damn, I love kids, I'm going to play Second Life. It's like, yeah. well, everyone's 60. Right. Fuck. That, then again, yeah. my, my first girlfriend was in fucking uh, Habbo. Second Hotel grade. <laughs> and chances are she was a 48 year old man so i mean you know the first girl i had a crush on was uh a neopets she was 13 i was eight <laughs> yo you got groomed my but, uh, dude dude no, we she didn't like me though but i liked her groom. the first girl her i had a crush was in my neopet was girlfriend. in real life because i'm not a freaking loser <laughs> yeah 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 i did have a quick am i the asshole let's do it I think my wife is flirting with the mailman, and I have proof. <laughs> she claims she is not, and now won't talk to me. Yep. My wife and I are in our 30s. We've been married for two years. When we got married, we moved into a nice small house in the Burbs. 
Last the summer, birds. we got a new mailman who is objectively attractive. <laughs> Not going to go into detail, but he looks good. Sounds like you're flirting with the mailman. <laughs> exactly. His penis looks very sizable, just what I can tell through his work. The bulge was... <laughs> Very Deliver out back. The idea of a guy. sixty mailman is really funny. Deliveries in rear. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me in the ass. Yeah, he puts my packages say. in the back door every um, time. Come on, my chest is what I'm trying. My to butthole is fragile. You. Please take it easy. <laughs> I want you to have homosexual intercourse. <laughs> my, make sure my pussy is facing this way up. You can be the milkman when we're finished. <laughs> and was um, crime. Towards the end of the summer, I noticed my wife was almost always outside around the time. Crime. Would... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, keep, keep, keep going. Towards the end of the summer, I noticed my wife was almost always outside around the time he would bring the mail. I actually started <laughs> tracking when she would go out on a spreadsheet. She averaged Fuck. going out about 20 minutes before the mail would get here. Yeah. Obviously, some variation is the mail didn't come at the exact same time each day, but it was weird. It, it, it seems like, it, and I'm not saying this guy isn't justified, but it is funny as soon as you make a spreadsheet, you've lost. I was going to say, yeah. like, there the might be a reason she's flirting asshole. with the mailman, my guy. If, yeah. if your yeah, immediate that, instinct is to bust out the Microsoft Excel the fucking, spreadsheets on your wife. That yeah. equals some <laughs> if, you, if you open Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets for anything other than setting a monthly, uh, uh, like... <laughs> Finances thing you you it's you deserve to be lost. You lost, lost the, the mailman. <laughs> she would work on our front patio and then have a shirt conversation. Think he means short what? with oh. the mailman. <laughs> Do you like t-shirts? I like ones with bomb holes. <laughs> Do I like ones with epic gamer quotes on them? <laughs> hey, watch this! I'm gonna put water all over my t-shirt. <laughs> oh. Then, oh. <laughs> then in about seven minutes on average. She would come back inside and work from her office. Another thing I noticed is that her clothes seemed to change when she went outside. Almost seventy percent of the time, she would have a tank top on, then put a shirt over it when she came back inside. I thought, she, I thought even she had one of those like color changing mugs. <laughs> <laughs> she went outside and her shirt would turn red, and then she came back on inside it would turn blue. What's up with that? Can any that can any, can anybody tell me how that would happen? They live in like it's Alaska or something. It's like every time she goes outside, she puts a jacket on. What's up with that? <laughs> I think she's cheating. What's up on with me? this Reddit? But her jackets make her titties look beautiful. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I didn't say anything as fall and winter came, and we live in a cold climate, so she stopped going out. Once in a while, she would go say hi, but not like in the summer. She also gave him a very nice tip for Christmas $250. I Jesus. bet he gave her a very nice tip for Christmas. Hey. Yeah. Hey. 250 hey. inches. His two, bitch. 2.50 <laughs> inches. He's fucking your wife from outside your house, dude. He's over at your mailbox just ballast. like. <laughs> what if he was door. just like that? Just like that. He's like super that. attractive and she's like biting her lip looking at him like he's so hot and he just. <laughs> all he wants to do yeah. is fuck their mailbox. Yeah. <laughs> he's got a mailbox, mailbox I've ever seen. And he's not actually actually i don't know i don't know if he delves into this but what does the wife look like because i feel like that kind of <laughs> is the wife objectively attractive could you as provide well? a picture well, for I was, us i was gonna say like what if what if what if the wife was just like an absolute fucking monster you like know a like hog. A, yeah, just like this fucking, you know, 600 yeah, the, pound Yeah, the mailman's beast. not just like some sex addict who wants to fuck yeah, everything that I want to fuck everything! Every wife! I'm going to fuck! You know, like, I feel like you, there's not much to worry about unless your wife is also <laughs> My objectively attractive. pound unfaithful wife. <laughs> <laughs> right? You have to roll her to the place she's cheating yeah, on. Yeah. <laughs> Take me to the Motel 6! Am I the asshole for rolling my wife to fuck our bull? <laughs> Am I the asshole for driving my wife to the Motel 6 but refusing to roll her to the door to cheat on me? <laughs> <laughs> there's like a- there's like a 4 on chair. My, on my fingies. <laughs> this dude is operating on like a 15 year old's brain chemistry. Dude, yeah. This, this is like a 4 a chain green on my finger. <laughs> This is like a parody finger. green text, like, she didn't yeah. <laughs> show girlfriend me, numbers, she doesn't understand. Wife. Yeah. yeah, show her numbers again. <laughs> Am I wrong? Fat on my finger. Up on fingies. I like how he included <laughs> that, like, that that, that makes him- crying. That's like one more point on his side. <laughs> Would a faithful oh, wife it? hurt my finger? Hmm. I, maybe not. <laughs> hmm. I feel like he, he doesn't- 
he doesn't give enough context here because I feel like I you think know, pe- more than got, likely because routines, he is clearly you know? the asshole. If if I'm gonna be yeah, honest, like no, 100%. he's busting out the spreadsheets. He's showing her the numbers more than once. Yeah, I think yeah. the the context that might help is the fact you know like he was like, I hit her once in a while, but it's not it's not a big deal. <laughs> Let's see if Google that to be smart. <laughs> I can't fucking breathe. I do realize that she may have taken off her top because it's hot outside. <laughs> <laughs> no longer hot in the house. I love saying this, guy's a, I, this guy isn't an asshole. Like, He's just a fucking idiot. Scientific well, research on my wife, and everyone's like, "Hey, that's kind of fucked up." And you come back with, "No, no, 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 no." no, no, no. I don't think you're I understanding think you the spreadsheet. It's Clearly, the pattern she's of fucking an the mailman. Wife. <laughs> She's going outside. You wonder why? Because <laughs> the mailman doesn't make spreadsheets. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And he's, he's fucking hot. Speaking of Reddit, I, I found the, I found this subreddit the other day. Um, completely organically, by the way. I, I, this guy made a post on uh, it was like r slash PlayStation or something like that. He was like, uh, "My neighbor is hacking my PS5. I'm trying to play this game, and he's hacking my PS5." But like, I, I went to the comments, and I was like, "Yo, I think this guy's schizophrenic or something." So I went to his page. <laughs> And he frequents the subreddit, which I didn't even know was a thing. And it was actually kind of sad. It's r slash gang stalking. And if you go through oh, yeah. it, that it is like, crazy. it is fucking nuts. Wait, what dude. is that? Like, so it's like people who think that they're being tracked by like the CIA uh, or- or We watched some what? TikToks or shorts you found, James. And yeah, yeah, there was, yeah, that was, yeah, that was, that was one a long guy time that ago. Was it? Yeah. Like, yeah, like I didn't find that on gang stalking, but I guess as you're describing it, that guy definitely thought he was being gang stalked. Yeah. I, th- I think he <laughs> yeah. specifically mentions gang stalking in the video because that that's I think it's like a common like schizophrenic like it is, yeah. th- trait where it's like you think that there's a huge conspiracy of from the government yeah. or whoever the fuck like specifically targeting you. So like everyone who look, it's like being high as shit in town <laughs> where you're like right. everyone knows Everybody I'm high. Everybody knows this I'm weird. high. Everyone's it's literally that. Yeah. <laughs> it's that, but you're just completely sober and it never yeah. stops. And you think like and, everyone's out to get you, the mailman, yeah. your Uber driver, like everyone's <laughs> fucking part of some conspiracy to kill you. It's it's, right. it's really dude, sad. Yeah, and dude, what's crazy about that is like the fact there's a subreddit for it. So like it's a lot of people in that same mentality oh, congregating. Yeah. All, like, so they're each they're other like up. Yeah, so they're like validating each other's fucking like Man. Oh, yeah, so, so nobody was hacking this dude's PlayStation. He was just no, like no, hallucinating. Like, yeah, yeah. So I mean, you know, <laughs> imagine if he to, was. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> he was actually being hacked. Yeah, boy, so cry wolf ass PlayStation. Yeah, yeah. Looking ass. So I, I went to the I went to this guy's page and like the fucking his lore was um the people who were gang stalking him was like his dad. <laughs> <laughs> it was like his dad, the NSA, some like He's billionaire. Like 15. Yo, this dude is always in my house. I don't know what is going <laughs> yeah, on. He's always just following me. Here. <laughs> Every time I leave school, he's there. He keeps having sex with my mom. <laughs> this is fucked. <laughs> What the hell, man? Is, Can uh, nobody do anything forgets, about this? He won't let me watch. What the concept of a dad is? <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. So like the fucking the subreddit, like all his all his posts, just a lot of people like hyping him up. Like, yeah, dude, like. You know, you, you got you got to get out of there. You got to call someone. He's like, I I tried, but the police are in on it. They paid off the police. The police won't do anything. It's like, yeah. it's it's kind of sad, honestly. But I don't, <laughs> it's, it's just I, wild. This, this there's a tweet I saw a while ago that's like pretty emblematic of that, where it's like, you know, back 20 years ago, if you were into like fucking toasters, someone oh, would be right. like, don't fuck that, don't. What the yeah, fuck? Don't do that. But now you can stuff. go on the, the fucking toasters subreddit and everyone's like, yeah, I really like uh, this model here. Like, <laughs> like, you know, yeah, dude, you <laughs> can do <laughs> that. That's a good toaster to fuck. Yeah. You should try it's, plugging it in next time. True. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. that, is, that is like crazy how true that is. Because like, I feel like the internet has sort of made it where any kink, any fucking niche, any hobby within reason is like you could find people who or are without the same reason. thing. Or without reason. Yeah, good point. Yes, yeah, the I mean, gang talking very much without reason. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, true. It's interesting that yeah. there's people that like gang stalking where it's like they think everything is like out to get them and like everybody is conspiring against mm. them. And Which then there's like are. people like They're like following you in your car who, right now. 
who <laughs> everyone is conspiring against them and making them fuck their PlayStation <laughs> and to say how badly they want their PSN account back, but yeah. somehow they you know, still penises and trust diameter. everybody and and yeah. will not just like get yeah. away from the internet. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like yeah, those yeah. those are the one people who should be schizophrenic. Like, but then yeah. you also, I suppose it also we need a mole cow and a schizo to team up. Yeah, they can bounce each other perfectly complement yeah. each yeah. other. Every schizo needs a lol cow, and and, yeah. and they'll it, it, it'll, it'll heal their, their it'll heal right. their their mental. You gotta stop language. talking to these guys yeah. online, man. You gotta stop doing it. They're <laughs> after you. No, you do <laughs> <guys> right, <laughs> yeah, he does not want me to fuck my PlayStation. Uh, that's he's what to do. Make comics. He's gonna <laughs> he's gonna take my pony away. <laughs> he's had my account. I have to do it. I have to do it. I'm gonna delete my animal. No, she she really is my girlfriend. What do you mean it's a guy? I talked to her. What are you talking about? It's a man, you fucking idiot. (laughs) She's lying to me. It's Barack Obama. What do you not understand? If it was a man, why would she tell me she likes my penis so much? (laughs) (laughs) She sent me this photo of her. Look. She looks beautiful. (laughs) She looks like you were an idiot. If, do you, you realize Google that the government yeah, watches everything so you do? Super fucked up. <laughs> Wasn't there one where one of the, on one the girlfriends on. convinced Chris that they were Vanessa Hudgens? Mm-hmm. Chris, that's Vanessa yes. Hudgens, you fucking idiot! <laughs> Chris, it's the star of High School Musical one, two, and three. I know, isn't it crazy? She loves me. It's, she loves do me. Do you realize she is late people. millennial royalty? I really would love to see Schiz- Schizo Lolcal the movie. Yeah, that, me too. That'd be a good combo. That and then the empty. twist is at the end, it's like a, a Fight Club situation. Mm. Dude, actually, <laughs> the speaking of Fight Club and a Lolcal Schizo combo movie, that's basically mm. just the plot of the iDubs uh, Fat Guy documentary, whatever it is. Oh, where it's, yeah, I guess it it's kind like of is. the f- yeah. Fatty Airsoft or whatever his fucking name is. Fatty Airsoft. I can't remember his name. I mean, it's yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 basically the same thing. Yeah. But it's, yeah. it's funnier when you swap those words. Fatty Airsoft. Yeah. He's a What's up, guys? Reverse? It's Fatty Airsoft here. Fatty Airsoft. Airsoft <laughs> Fatty so sounds he, like he's owning it. Fa- if, like, so Airsoft Fatty sounds like yeah. he's owning it. Fatty Airsoft sounds like you're making fun of him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fatty Airsoft uh, is like the lol cow and his fucking weird friend that's like gonna blow up the fucking oh, local yeah, governor's yeah. office. Oh, is like, yeah. It's like yeah. gang stalking schizo. Yeah. And yeah. It, it is a beautiful relationship. And to be yeah. fair, that was when he was at his height of memeage is, is when those two were working together. That like that was the, the highest his channel uh, went. Exactly. So, it, so. It's, it's a proven... Exactly. It's a proven recipe for success. We have a proven yeah. there is also symbiotic cal- relationship. Yeah. The funny thing about the gang stalking is there is actually proof that the government does that shit. Like, I mean, obviously Martin Luther King, he, he got fucking stalked to hell and then assassinated. And then like, <laughs> that is true. It? it was like John Lennon. Or there was like some random celebrity like that who was like, I'm pretty sure I'm being stalked. And then when they were like killed, it kept, like I guess declassified years decades later that yeah they were like mm. they had this huge case file on them and they had people stalking him all the time because they thought he was like rousing anti-american yeah. propaganda it was some bullshit like that so it is funny there is actually declassified proof that the cia the cia right. the fbi and shit gang yeah. stalks people which probably doesn't help those people's uh yeah uh, but like the, the thing is i feel like people don't have that like what do you call it? It's like that, that like, I don't want to say self-awareness, but it's like... Of like, why would the government be following you? Exactly. Oh, yeah, obviously. Yeah, like, <laughs> it obviously. Makes there's sense. still delusion, don't get me wrong, yeah, but like, there, it makes there sense is for, proof. Like, Bjork to have that bald guy who fucking killed himself, like, in her name. <laughs> Ricardo Versus, Lopez. you know, yeah. <laughs> versus, you know, Joe fucking... Penis from Iowa. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'm from the Long Penis Dynasty. <laughs> the name's Joe Dude. Penis. From We've Iowa. been asked to change our name, but I won't let the government I do that. I will let the woke take <laughs> also, hold I of love it. New York. It makes <laughs> uh, signing up for websites very difficult. <laughs> no one believes me. The goddamn liberals. <laughs> the goddamn liberal website. The, out in San Francisco, they don't know that real Americans got names like Penis. <laughs> Given to me by Dude. my daddy and his daddy before him. Speaking Man, of daddy grandpappy gang penis. stalking, and oh, he's bringing it around. He's bring, he's wrapping all of it together. Everything we were just home. talking about. I told you guys about this guy one time who he was like schizo, and he was basically at the point of just Sexy. yipping, and <laughs> yeah. 
He had like no teeth. His yep. name was Gary. Yep. And he basically yep. walked up yeah. and down Lake Avenue oh, where yes. all the pizzerias I, I worked at I were. remember, yeah. And mm -hmm. he would just, you would, I'd be, you'd be like at your car putting the pizzas in the car or something and you would turn around and he would be three inches from your face, just <laughs> face to face with you, just like, yep. <laughs> Dude, that's like, yeah, you just, you just, you just give him a slice of pizza and he would like, he would just walk away up the street and just yip and eat the pizza with one two. <laughs> And He'd roll into a ball and like Sonic and fucking. Yeah. But he was, he was like, there was nothing dangerous about him or like malicious, but his presence mm. was extremely unsettling, especially like at night when you're like the only person yeah. in the pizzeria. To he's like pizza. a Five Nights at and Freddy's uh, animatronic. He's like the butler <laughs> in the first Lara and... Croft game. He's, it's like everywhere you go, he's fucking <laughs> right. He's just right behind you. So, so I was telling. I forgot. I, I was talking to uh, the pizzerias I worked at with like my family and my dad started telling the story about how he, he worked at a Wawa that was right next to the pizzeria on Lake Ave because he grew up in the same town that I did. Yeah. And um, put the he was talking in. about how a guy. <laughs> yeah, put the address up right here. He was talking. I mean, you could. I don't live there, <laughs> so shout out. Uh, <laughs> but he was talking about how a guy, uh, one time when he was working there, like a guy came into the store, and he's like, it's like this nice, like crazy Vietnam vet who just, he would just walk up late, walk up at, up and down Lake Ave all day. You know, he lived with his mom, like he didn't have anybody. Obviously the, he, he, you know, the war like fucked him up. And he was super nice, and he would just come in, and, you know, we would give him free shit sometimes because he couldn't really give speak and sometimes. eat, and we felt bad for him. And then one day he came in with a sawed-off shotgun and what the <laughs> fuck? and held up the store. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, and and we what you know he couldn't really communicate what he wanted or anything, so we kind of just gave it. The, the owner just said, "Give him the shit and let him leave." And then the next day he was just walking up and down Lake Ave again, and he was you know just yipping, saying, yeah, yeah. You know, "And I I, I was oh. having like this Jimmy Neutron brain blast of like." Yeah. Wait, so 30 years before Gary was harassing me for pizza, so I, I was like, he Dad, was, was his name Gary? And he's like, you know Gary? And I was like, Gary <laughs> Gary still walks up and down Lake Avenue to this day. Oh, he's that dad, just walking into it, all he the still stores. wanders the streets. So, like, <laughs> literally 30 years before Gary was, was jump-scaring me for free slices of pizza and, yeah. and buffalo wings... He held up my dad with a with an unloaded sawed off shotgun Jeez, at a gas station. Right. It's so dope that <laughs> this country you can get access to a sawed off so <laughs> that easily. And you can't yeah. even speak. All you can do is yip, and we can you can still get access. To Somehow that shit. a gun gun store owner was like, "Yeah, this guy's deserves. yeah." I can, I can, I can translate <laughs> Just this. Point it. Yeah, I can figure this. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You got it, buddy. He, he, points, at a, shot, he points at a, a, frag, a frag grenade. And the guy's like, nah, you can't nah, have you that. Can't have that. Nah, that's nah, that's yeah, okay, okay, why why not? I'll lose name. my job. <laughs> nah, just take it. Uh, we'll, we'll, uh, tell you go. what. We'll give we'll it leave, to you as a review. Yeah, he, he says, <laughs> leave, he, leave a Google he review. He picks up the sawed off off the counter. He's like, and he just points it at the guy. <laughs> the guy's like, "All right, you, you got me. You, you, got, out. Me. Yeah, you got me. Nobody but ever thinks to do this." He, <laughs> he, he uh, it's just crazy to think like, because he's a. Ve I, I, I felt bad and liked Gary, and he wasn't like a joke. Like we would do anything to him or make fun of him, but like his presence was very much a joke in my friend group because we all worked yeah. and lived around Lake Ave, so like. He was just like a staple it's a guy of who the, the it's community. Hard not to. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, yeah, it's like a staple but of like, your town. Like, the like area. knowing yeah. that when my dad w was like twenty years old, before I was even an apple of his cum, also <laughs> you're the apple was, of my cum, was, son. Was also was also <laughs> fucking gang stalking Gary with his boys and and laughing yeah. and giggling and then getting held That's up with wild. a shotgun. It's just it's just this weird it's beautiful. level of yeah. connection that I didn't think I, I feel would like have. I feel like every town has like a fucking like someone like that. Oh, yeah. everyone's got uh, yeah. There's this so <laughs> Melbourne's got several. Yeah, yeah. Everyone just knows like, like there's that guy. <laughs> yeah, but like specifically like one guy that's so prolific. Like the, the town I grew up in was like we had one homeless guy that everybody knew, and his name was Dennis. I, I think I've talked about him before. The man is. He finally got a job at like our local 7-Eleven 
And I remember I used to go to the 7-Eleven all the time. And when he started working there, all the fucking hot dogs, like all the food and everything looked so fucking nasty because he never changed <laughs> it out. I thought you were going to say it was always gone. That would have been so good. Yeah, he was just <laughs> eating it. Oh, because he'd eat it. No, it's funny about like, Nobby, like fucking up cooking a hot dog. <laughs> like, that doesn't yeah. seem possible. It's, you don't like, even cook it, you just put it on the thing oh, that no, rolls no, it what it means. itself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, so, it's yeah, even so I'd easier. ride my bike. Yeah, I'd ride my bike and I'd go, and again, everybody knew him by name. Be like, oh, hey, Dennis, I want a hot dog. And I was like, you know, fucking like eight years old and I get this hot dog and it's just like, almost like black. Like, it's like <laughs> so fucking <laughs> shriveled and hard. Dennis! And like, Dennis! Dennis. Bam, bam, bam. Come on, Dennis! He, he like, takes hey. the hot dog and like, r rubs the the fucking black soot off it with his finger. He's like, yep. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. yep. We had, uh, we had two back yep. in my hometown. One <laughs> was just called Speedy. No, that's the sound he makes. <laughs> yeah. Speedy. Speedy, Speedy Gonzalez. Speedy. Yeah, he was this like, <laughs> old ass fucking dude with like, like, you know, super long bushy beard, long ass, just like unkempt, you know, he wore like a, a yeah. dirty old suit and he just fucking like sped, like, you know, power walked everywhere. Yeah, not power, super, not in like a fucking mouse. this kind of way. He was just, Everywhere you saw, and it was like, where the fuck a is he going? A disturbing power walk, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like, but he was, he's always he, got somewhere to be. Yeah, he never talked to anyone. He was never like, you know, a th and no one. He never, yeah, no one talked to him. He never talked to anyone. He just reeked of cigarettes as well. You could like smell him from like a block away. <laughs> yeah. The other one was a woman named Joan Butcher who passed away a couple of years ago, but she was the last of a dying breed. Uh, that I saw someone point out the other day yeah, on Twitter. Sexy homeless. Person. They were no the wino, the 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 oh. uh, homeless person who exclusively drinks wine. Like they don't do meth. Interesting. They don't do drugs. They don't drink liquor. They just get fu They just sit they on a park bench grapes. and get cunted on wine <laughs> all day. A crazy home, crazy. Yeah, literally. Yeah. <laughs> no, really. I mean, you just you'd walk into town. Uh, you know, like Friday night, you're 18. You're like out with the boys. Like, yeah, hey, we're going to town for the first time. You know, whatever. And there would just be her on a park bench. Like she's been drinking since like 10 a.m. And she's just, there's like vomit down her fucking chest. And she, she's like morbidly obese. Just sitting her there lips with like are all purple. bottles of wine. Just like, Ehh. And she would Did like just ever... talk. Her yeah. skin is go ahead, purple. Go I was <laughs> going to say, one just giant grape. She yeah. would like try and talk to people, but she was so fucked. that She'd just be like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Like, well, okay. did you ever awesome. think that she was actually, you know, we had the D.A.R.E. program. She was actually mm. Australia's covert uh anti-drinking campaign oh, where right, they yeah. would just put a fucking disgusting <laughs> slovenly alcoholic outside of this all the bars happens. and all the this 18 year olds would go oh man i think I the problem with uh, new like zealand and australia is we kind of we approach alcohol different to you guys i think people see that as like aspirational it's like yeah we're getting, <laughs> oh, we're getting right. butchered tonight yeah get on you <laughs> She's a legend. Yeah. Yeah, don't oh, you guys yeah. go I mean, climb in trees and drink fucking wine bags? Yep. Yeah, don't you guys Not have like those. fucking she, she, cut it, she cut out she the tree and that was why tree. she was so good at drinking. <laughs> That's uh, also why she was so obese. I remember so one time, like, that. she was always in the center of town, but one time I was, like, going uh, up the road during uh, high school, like, just during the day at, like, lunchtime. Your alcoholic hobo's so fat, she the, she's always the center of town. <laughs> yeah, was the, the, the town <laughs> the, 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 the town fucking revolved yeah. around her alcoholic gravity. But, so we're like in a completely different suburb to where I've ever seen her. She was just sitting on some poor person's like she like front traveled, fence, bro. just dr like uh, getting blasted next to our school. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Like, fuck? yeah, like fucking, you know, 12. That's awesome. It was, I like Tuesday. It was awesome. Yeah. Shout out yeah, to speaking of homeless people. Like, speaking of homeless people, have you guys seen. Oh, sorry, James, go ahead. No, no, no go ahead. <laughs> I was like, have you guys seen the video of the fucking. Uh, the guy at the gas station? <laughs> he's got. He's got the gas pump up his ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's jacking off. And he looks so... He's like... He, he, he can see the person taking the photo of him. and, you, and yeah. looks, He's like a deer in headlights. You can kind of tell Literally. there's like... It's like there's yeah. like a split second moment where he realized what he was doing. He was like, oh, I shouldn't be doing this. Yeah. No one stopped me, I but now that I found the video, gas pump up yeah. my ass. Put the video here. Obviously, censor his cock and ass. But like. I was gonna say, I, this sounds very familiar. I feel like I remember hearing about I only it, saw but a I never saw it. Shot of it. While while Dopex finds that 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 was like the experience <laughs> of like the kind of scary homeless man was like uh, half half of my time in New York, just because I didn't fully know how to like navigate that to the degree I thought I did. <laughs> Yeah, you, know, you, you come from you come from. Well, it wasn't even the homeless men who were scared, but there's just there's just a lot of people who were very um, 
look like they're going to come up and talk to you, which <laughs> I don't care what, how, how well dressed you are, how much money you have. I don't want to talk to anyone on the street. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't, I don't like getting uh, approached. I was, I think I probably mentioned this on beef. I was in Nashville with some friends and we were walking just down, I think Broadway, uh, which is just a bunch of bars and shit. And we took a left to go find our car and some I believe homeless gentleman was walking past us and he just like leaned over at us and I can't remember what he yelled at us but he hollered a phrase and then kept walking and we realized that he had heard one of the live bands playing in a distant bar and just decided to shout a lyric at us as, as a drive by <laughs> they scared the shit out of us because he was like right here and he just was like Mah! Yelled it and kept walking. Yeah, like, yeah. Okay. I've still yet to nice. see. Very nice. The, the, the closest I've seen to like a homeless person actually being violent was just this time back in Wellington where the, there's this guy who was just walk around. He'd always scream at people, but like, which is scary, but like he seemed like that was the extent of his thing. But then one time I saw him, like, he went up to this dude who was like fucking 6'4, jacked as shit, and he like pretended to like king hit him like to his face and he was like that's how easy it could have been and i'm just like i was like this dude was like like 55 years old fucking you know like like my height that's amazing. this dude could have rocked his shit in two that's seconds that's so awesome so but shout out to the guy for not I love like that beating his ass because he would have been fully justified too but he would have shout out to the homo for half. being so funny <laughs> that's how easy it would have been dude one of my all-time favorite internet videos is there's this security guard outside and there's like this homeless dude who he obviously deals with like every single fucking night and he, yeah. and he, he runs up to him all homeless like and he, he's like half galloping <laughs> half limping and that's the animation and shout out to homeless music. people <laughs> I found it you found the homeless guy no I found the guy fucking shoving the gas station pump up yo his link ass. it Ball Duplex like, flicks it? that. Yeah, he, I this guy it. like this guy like runs. You guys have had to have seen the video. He like runs up to the the security guard. He's like, "Yo, man, I, I know we've had our problems in the past. I just want to apologize." <laughs> and they, the security guard's like, "Oh yeah, man, that's all I've been waiting on. I just, you know, you know, you're you can get a little crazy sometimes." But he's like, "Yeah, man, you know, just just let's just dap me up. We're all good." The like crackhead or the homeless guy and. uh <laughs> And he goes, to, he, he puts his hand out and the, the security guard approaches and he's like, Psych! I fucking hate your ass! And he like, posts <laughs> up and he's, he like, gets ready to, I'll just, if you guys, if you haven't, uh, you guys have, have to see it, it's like my funniest yeah, yeah, I remember exactly what you're talking <laughs> about now, but I, yeah, fuck it, let's play it. It's genuinely one of my favorite videos of all time. Courtney, don't leak me and D Doplex's nudes to each other. I sent you so I sent you two messages. One is the original video, and the other one's the guy getting it tattooed. This is the guy stroking okay. the shit at the guy. Alright, so this is the original. Okay. Hell yeah, uncensored version. <laughs> I don't even know that. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm gonna be honest. That shit is sliding <laughs> in and out of there with an ease oh, at which I I didn't expect. <laughs> I thought that would be more of like a job to get it up there, but he's kind of yeah. just. It's, <laughs> it's like it is a fart in the Dear wind. What god. the fuck? Also, is also, this I got people, James. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta commend. I, I gotta commend his Italian. ability to get soft and fast. Like, like he he goes like. <laughs> he's he's a he's a fly. Fly. He's he just like, flopping. <laughs> the second he sees he's being recorded, his shit just goes immediately soft. I don't even hear that. Because a fly. It's the it's, way it's, <laughs> it's it's a baffling video because it's like. He's what always the? like, okay, he wants something in his ass. He wants to <laughs> jack right. off in public. Yes. Like, though, I'm a shoot. And then the gas pump, that's a whole third thing. But, like, yeah. you're already, you're, you're committing to jacking off in public because that's your fetish. And then someone right. sees you and you stop. Like, isn't that the point? Well, is, yeah, isn't that part I, I, of it? The way the guy reacts and kind of moves, yeah. he, to me, looks like he's like a bit on like some sort of spectrum or something yeah he does he does seem a bit the way he like slow. reacts and like gets very hyper focused yeah. on like because putting it back into the thing like he yeah like yeah, he's, like, he's, oh, a bit oh, he's just on slow fucking and so crack classic. or something yeah. but yeah. hey shout out
I am Shout curious. out, man. If you want to stick a gas is, pump up your is, ass and jerk off, that's I your mean, prerogative. That's, that's, exactly. That's what, what, is. what are we talking about? I thought, I thought this, this was, was America. America. <laughs> exactly. Well, even though I'm pretty Chris, sure this is Italy, but it oh, definitely really, is. Yeah. Do you guys think he's dispensing gasoline into his rectum? No, I I was strictly watching. He was he was not moving like the oh, animal, okay. he which was... makes me think like he he was like n none of the things I have anymore in my home perfectly yeah. fit my ass at this <laughs> gotta, moment. Yeah. But I know <laughs> this Seco <laughs> gas station three miles away. With specifically a shot diesel, pump, diesel pump five yeah. is like is that, gonna perfectly fit my fucking. Like it's gonna hole. feel so good. It's like the Cinderella scene where they're trying to find yeah. who the slipper fits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I, I think who does this gas pump fit? <laughs> yeah. he, he's like one of those boomers who doesn't really understand that like internet porn exists. You know, like he's right. still like buying yeah. magazines and shit. Like he doesn't realize yeah. there's a massive market where you could buy any shaped thing to put in your and ass. Literally any shaped thing. There's you a, can buy a vibrating toy to put in your ass and then pay a woman online to control it for exactly. you. <laughs> Dude, you yeah, exactly. Dude, you can probably buy like, the a gas pump your shaped oyster, dildo. Man. You probably you, can. You definitely could. There was like, absolutely you guys, somebody out there dude, willing that shit to just went up push there, a little. Oh, right? It's way up there, it, and yeah, it's it 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 out it with it. ease. Because I'm fine. Now, would it be weirder if he wasn't jacking off? Because I'm. Oh, uh, you just know a, what? A regular old, just a quick dip. Then that seems more yeah. like it would be like a, a a mental illness thing. I don't like know. I don't know if it. The jacking off isn't even the. Maybe it's just growing up in a in a like you said in a place like New York where it's just like motherfuckers. I don't necessarily think I've seen anyone jack off in public, but you get right. pretty close. And <laughs> you have, you the, see some I've, shit. I've seen I've seen lots of guys jacking off in public. Yeah, I, I feel like job. I've seen one or two that I just blocked out. But <laughs> right. the, the the jacking off doesn't add nor take away anything. I think it's, yeah, the act of the bump in the ass is so powerful yeah. that. Nothing yeah. else he could do at that moment would. Yeah. Right? I think would, that's would all three. But if, well, if yeah. he wasn't jacking off, I would have like given him like maybe he was just confused about where to oh, put right. it. <laughs> <laughs> well, because, put but then back. when the, when when his deck's getting jerked, it's like, well, there's obviously that's that's the reason yeah. why he's now. Doing I have it, to come. Know? Yeah. Yeah. But, like he maybe he just. I, I, the he had, I think you guys are onto something. He bought I think a you guys are onto something. Still really in support of fossil fuels and global warming. Yeah. Yeah. I carry half a gallon of gasoline in my intestines at all times. At all fucking times. <laughs> my shit's so I will cool. not let it go low. <laughs> Shout yeah, out. Hey, let's see the guy get the tattoo. Chest. Yeah. But I think you guys are onto something about him being on, like, some sort of something. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <it> goes hard. <laughs> Bro, why would you get that tattooed on you, though? I would love to, that'd be fascinating to like do a, a yeah. like case study on the people who get these kind of meme tattoos where it's like, right. yeah, I know. do you just not give a shit about your body or do you plan to get it like done over one day or like what's yeah. the, what's the yeah. rationale here? Cause Brad, you get your five minutes of fame and you get <laughs> right. the 10,000 likes on Twitter and then what? Like, I, I think, I think it's just people Brad, losing Paul, why are you beating off on your own leg on, with, with a, with the gas <laughs> <in your ass? laughs> You'd, there'd be just times well, so. you wouldn't like, like you'd be going on a plane, a long haul plane. You put some shorts on because it's like you know you want to be comfortable, and then you like you're right. sitting down next to some kids, and then you're like, ah, oh, fuck, now I have to like <laughs> be careful which way my legs facing for the next ten hours. Yeah, mm. you know, I always think about, I always think about how like you know Children. if you ever get arrested, <laughs> <laughs> you like you know when you ever get arrested, they have to like document your fucking. No, I uh, don't know that. Don't please. Oh well, they have to document what tattoos you have for, like you know, for us three the upstanding event. white men have never been arrested. <laughs> <laughs> they have to document Bro. what tattoos you have. I'm just imagining them documenting that and how they would describe it. You know, it's like because normally they have to like they write it down for like gang affiliation or whatever. <laughs> okay, That's I, I was epic. wondering why the the gas bomb thing looked so familiar, and I that realized I put this in? in here like five days ago because they opened that That's New York awesome. Dublin portal oh, thing, my and God. I, I, I I fully thought this was real. 
<laughs> it's like for such a good listeners. Photoshop. For audio <laughs> listeners, uh, it's the fucking Dublin portal, but the dude with the gas pump up his ass stroking his shit. And James put it, it, it there fully not realizing that's what it was. Yeah, thinking it was a legit Dude, photograph. like the I mean, lighting the, just works. It's weird. The way yeah. it's cropped too, you can't tell. It's, it just looks like he's putting like a dildo or like a bottle in his yeah. ass. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. They, this, they took like, the pump part away. This yeah. kid is staring perfectly at his fucking penis. <laughs> yeah. Even though that's not how cameras work. <laughs> <laughs> True. Dude, that Yo, how, look how New red York this bitch's face portal. is. <laughs> that's just what people in Ireland look like. <laughs> you, you, put a, you put one of them portals in New York, I like, mean, what, what do you, you expect? What do you, yeah, what do you expect? Especially when Dude, you put it in so Dublin. it's so fucking funny. It's like yeah. the Apparently it was in two other They're random start countries. at each other. Yeah. I think it's been, like, they've been doing this for a while, like a few different countries, and none of them have been, like, Anyway, uh, like as soon as you put it in New York, it shit goes up to fucking eleven. But before then, it was yeah, just kind yeah. of this like kind of interesting art installation. You walk past in the city, and be like, oh yeah, that's that's interesting. Yeah, but that's it would cool. it'd be like two random European countries or whatever. Just no yeah. one gave a shit until they but put they, it in New York. And, and Ireland, the two most chaotic. And, uh, yeah, honestly, and Dublin, yeah, on, exactly. Honestly, you give anybody the ability to do anything that's without like, consequence. An, yeah, and anonymous, and also people will see it, and there's like a guarantee. People are gonna fuck with it, man. Like, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, like you ever been one of those? Like, uh, I went to like a sandwich shop years ago, and they had this giant chalkboard on the wall that like anybody could write on, right? But they mm. they they clean it at the end of the night. So, me when I when I was in there, I went there for my lunch break at work, and it was completely wiped. So there was nothing on there. So obviously, my chimp brain was like, I'm gonna draw a fucking Michael Jackson stroking his shit on there. It's just that it get, it gives you the like it's obviously. you know it. It, it taps into your your primal chimp brain. To no, fuck yeah. With it. Well, yeah, the yeah, the yeah. reason I put the Jack and Off guy up here was I thought Jack it was and real, <laughs> and the the I was thinking like if there was a kid like on the other side of the Dublin and they saw that like what is are is See, that like a the protocol? Yeah, is that like a prosecutable offense on yeah. either? Is he is like, now an um, international pet? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Do we have to extradite him? Like, what is the by, what is the what are the bylaws of the portal? Yeah. It yeah, does do you, open yeah, up do some interesting, uh, some interesting. Uh, Sound off in the comments. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? We should put one. In, we, we should go. put one in like two jungles and have like a fucking mountain lion and a gorilla on either side and see what they do. <laughs> That's a good idea. That we is should put one idea. in Palestine and one in Israel. That's a good idea. So they can and see that they're both human. Yeah. I've, solved, I've solved it. <laughs> and then put that meme up of the guy standing in front of the bed like this, and that he's getting daggers in his back, and the kid is sleeping sound. <laughs> and then show Pepsi. That's a classic <laughs> meme. It is Pepsi funny that we haven't like resorted to like cock fights or something to solve wars. Because you think pretty much everyone above will be like, "Well, I don't want to die." No, my cock's bigger. <laughs> they should no, do what they mine. do in the Philippines. In the Philippines, they fucking have spiders fight that come the out of the god box. race. Yeah, like that exactly. kind of shit. Is this a matter like that's pretty dope, yeah. honestly? Spider fighting? That sounds yeah. awesome. Nah, that yeah, that sounds horrifying. I hate it. All spiders <laughs> should die except Opus. <laughs> Thanks, man. So, uh, if you don't know, Shaquille O'Neal is probably one of the most famous like men on Earth, and the one of the most documented. Uh, Plenty of images of on him on Google. 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 Yeah, there's probably a few million images pizza. of him. And Google yet, Shaquille O'Neal playing basketball. And yet, in this, addition to his scoring, <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal what grabbed 13,000 yeah, like, rebounds. It looks like Black total. Boss Baby. He also recorded 2,732 <laughs> blocks, showcasing his defensive prowess on the court. Right, Throughout his career, Shaquille O'Neal averaged an impressive 23.7 points This is an AI voice per game. as well, right? Moreover, yeah. Shaquille O'Neal had a career field goal percentage more of 58.2%, highlighting more his efficiency over. as a scorer. This is more Shaquille O'Neal's dominance on the court extended to his 10.4 average so big? rebounds per game over his career. What is this? That's, Why is he that's, dude, that's Shaq. I don't <laughs> know what you're talking about. That's, that is Shaquille O'Neal, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> He is that buff. Shaquille O'Neal butt. He, he was so good, he stopped he playing for boxing the gloves just to show that he doesn't even need to use his hands. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, true. But Dude, I... I, I uh, yeah, he, it, you couldn't find more images of another human, I feel like. 
Yeah, no, there's like a <laughs> yeah. just Google Shack, and you'll probably yeah. have more than enough for this dumbass video. Literally. Also, I, I like how we see that James disliked it. This man's doing God's work. Oh, cool. <laughs> I hate him, yeah. This man's yeah. doing God's work out here. <laughs> I know we talked about r slash YouTubers a ton, but like, there's been an influx of uh, like people complaining about how they get hate for using AI, like doing primarily AI videos. Yeah. And like, good. that shit that should feeds my soul because like, all right, cool. You yeah, know, good. Are, it's like, thank God. Yeah, yeah like, but it, it's also funny how people like go to Reddit to complain about it. like why am I yeah, hate yeah. me? I use AI to make my video <laughs> got seven hundred thousand views, but everybody hates me. <laughs> yeah, why do you think your talent was hacked? You're, you're supplementing fucking technology for your lack of talent and your fucking fatherless ass uh, upbringing. It's the same as like fucking ooh. Same with people who try and make uh, gimmick accounts like into you know like <laughs> yeah. turn that into a personality. It's like no people right. were here for the hmm. for the gimmick. Like I you wonder if that is on the dice list. Have we ever talked about anybody who's done that before? <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. We haven't hmm. talked about, about a good hmm. fucking Santa decides in a while. We'll yeah. save that for the next episode. We'll save that. We'll for have Christmas. a whole dossier. You guys should do a fucking uh, stinky meat or what? What's your? What's the? Uh, it is called stank meat. Yeah, yeah stank meat. Idea. You guys should do a Fish true crime meat, stank meat episode on fucking. Yeah, let's do that. Fucking <laughs> Santa decides. I'm so sad. Okay, I I really don't think I'm going to be able to find this video, so I'm just going to have to describe it for you. I think I'm going to try Dunfix when I was over. The, the one that James tried to play before, I might try and find it again, but it's this dude driving down a street in Dubai uh, like after the floods happened, so like the water's up to like oh, you know, yeah, the fucking yeah, the yeah. door in his car. You did show and that. obviously because he's driving through it, it's leaving behind like a big fucking wake. Uh, and then he's like recording the... The, all the small businesses that he drives past almost in a way of being like wow this is so sad look at look at what the flood has done but the wake from his car is literally smashing into every window and breaking it and it literally smashes like two dozen doors and windows of these businesses just as this fucking idiots drive and it's like slow you'd think after you broke one you'd be like whoops slow down because he's just driving faster and just demos these small businesses oh, it's just the it's whole so street's fun, like man. collapsing collapsing in on itself behind no, him. He's yeah, like, yeah, wow, look at how guy. sad this is. What the <laughs> hell? How could how could God how do could this? God do this? Downtown Dubai <laughs> is in ruins. <laughs> After a man in a pickup truck drove through. <laughs> Everything would have been fine if a guy in a pickup truck didn't drive through and, <laughs> and filming. Just 40 pounds process. of fucking water straight at this oh, family. I'm so sounds of fat. Bro. I saw this, uh, so this is just a quick one. I just think it's funny observation. The Kendrick and Drake beef it's shout out observing. we talked about is funny. Yeah. It was funny. like, you know, you know, everybody's talking about it. Everybody's making their jokes. It's funny. Everybody's having their reactions. Yeah. Everyone's speculating like, yo, how many kids do you think Drake fucks? Is it only one? Like, I could fuck with him still if it was <laughs> only one. one. Do you think if it was it's two, just though? one, I'll be okay with it. I'll you be know, okay with it. It's just everybody's, one. yeah, everybody's just talking. And then, like, you... It just, it makes me, it you makes me up. so angry. Well, that, that, that's the type of stuff that these people listen to. It just makes me so angry. You have <laughs> all of that and you could be funny or you could be interesting. Like you could be anything. And then these people are like, so I'm actually in a discord and Drake just got exposed for lying, uh, for feeding Kendrick, uh, information. Uh, it, it, Oaklear was set up by Ovo. Drake got cooked so bad, he actually started a disinformation oh, campaign. If you guys oh, want to oh. join, here's a link to the discord. And it's just like uh, people... Bro, if People you're in a nothing fucking, going on, if you're in a Discord reading forty page long essays <laughs> on why Ovo on a Tuesday <laughs> was Oaklear actually and Drake fed the misinformation, bro, like you're missing the point of the rap beef. Bro. Get a job. Like, not even just get a job. Don't don't interface with this sect of culture. That too. Go that go too. talk about fucking crypto with your friends and like eat mayonnaise <laughs> by the fucking spoonful. Yeah. Like go make what? AI fucking. YouTube nobody videos, in so. nobody that's AI interested in this you. wanted to join a Discord <laughs> and get an update from Playa.i on Ovo <laughs> and Oaklear. Like, it, <laughs> nobody nobody wanted yeah. that. Yeah. You're adding nothing. You're adding nothing but embarrassment to the white race. <laughs> and you know this dude was white. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, everyone in that Discord is white as shit. Yeah. I've ever <laughs> seen a video of the guy. I've ever seen a video of the guy in his car. He's like, I would die for OVO. I would die for Drake. <laughs> oh, I did see that. That shit was yeah, so funny. Uh, 
Yeah, his girlfriend's like, would you die for me? He's like, no, no. But I died for Drake. <laughs> no. Who's your top five all time? Drake, 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 Drake. Drake. <laughs> Zuckery masha, Zuckery masha. Satte satte na ni na dekhi rukana. Hi, dekhi masha. That's so good. What's that mean? That mean? Kudos. Dekhi masha. Dekhi mashi my peeny dekhi. <laughs> Diggy mash it. What does Diggy mash them mean? I just can't remember. I'm 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 out of the loop. <laughs> I'm just man, this I'm man's a fake I'm not up to date on He's my jacket. I'm going to Japan next year, so I'll let you know. I'll brush up back. on it. Hell yeah. Get the yeah, I've, been, I've, been, I've been playing through more Yakuza. I feel like I'm <laughs> So I guess you could say I'm a bit of a pro. I guess, I guess you could say I'm a, I'm a bit yeah, of a pro. Yeah, I pretty much I've been, been to Japan. You know, I don't even so, need to go to Japan. You want, played, motherfuckers. Listen, I've been to Camaro show, I played right? Grand Theft Auto 4, I, so I've been to New York. I've been I played to New Yakuza. York. <laughs> <laughs> I can yeah. live in every biome. I was... I, so I started playing uh, awesome. Spider-Man. In this essay. I, I finished Spider-Man Miles Morals after I came back from NYC. Just so I could be like, I went there and uh, I was black. It was, yeah, it reminded me of being black in New York and Spider Man. <laughs> and it, it is funny because it's like, it's like, this is kind of, this is pretty accurate, but then, you know, it's like obviously not a one to one scale. So you're like, mm. oh, here's, here's the, the, the landmark that we used to like find our hotel. And then you just walk around the corner oh, yeah. and it's like nothing. Right. <laughs> but I did find a place near Central Park where we got Wetzel's pretzels. In yeah. Spider-Man, or in Spider-Man, the Wetzel's pretzels was not there, but it, but it was <laughs> oh. very pretty accurate. Yeah. Fuck yeah, that's epic. You got to try Wetzel's though. Shout I got well, we had it with you guys, and then we went to um, we we're like we're gonna go to a, oh, that's a, right, yeah, a, we did we're Wetzel's. gonna have edibles in Central Park and have Wetzel's <laughs> pretzels, and we went to the yeah. Weedy Pretties, and I was like, we were just gonna get the the fucking regular ones, and I was like, oh, I wouldn't mind the yeah. pepperoni ones. But uh, Emily decided against that, which is fine. I was happy with both, and then we pull up right. to the park, pull them out. The guy giving us pepperoni ones anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Which normally, I guess you'd be mad about if you were a vegetarian, right. but I was stoked. <laughs> yeah. Dude, he, he the idea a... of taking edibles in Central Park as someone who, I guess, spent a lot of time there and like lived in that area and got a lot of the news of what happens in Central Park. <laughs> the, is, idea, the idea of taking a... edibles in public is crazy. Yeah, no, but specific, yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> Yes. No, not even a but. Yes. And <laughs> Central Park specifically, that blows my mind. That's like, you, in my mind, you guys are like high as shit, just narrowly skirting around every corner, like rape, murder, yeah. and... And fucking, we were there in the middle yeah, of the day. Tribes. You gotta have. Dude, it you does gotta not have, matter. <laughs> you gotta have matter. the there most is. fucking extroverted germ in your brain, like to it was fucking fun. even dabble in that. Well, no, I'm so not saying it wasn't or that you did anything That's, wrong. I'm, no, no, I'm just no, no, like it, it is a mind blowing thought that you made yes. it out alive. Well, yes. well, what's interesting to me is Central Park was the nice part. Once we got actually into the city, then it got real sketchy. Like that no, was when it got real hairy. But the, specifically <laughs> Central Park, else. there's just so much crime there because like it's it's extremely large and like bro, you just go around mm. the wrong corner and you're surrounded by like three rocks and you find out it's actually the three rocks of fucking doom <laughs> and you get so, and you get gang stalked by an jump actual out gang on top of you. They jump at the me. Part, they jump at me. There was me. one point where we went through like the real foresty bit of it, which was like maybe I wouldn't do that again because there was like a couple of sketchy yeah. folks around there. But the rest of it, like we were around like a million people at all times. Like there was like yeah, joggers yeah. doing shit. Like there's a million mm. you know tourists and stuff. Like we weren't we weren't like going and hiding in bushes and like chilling till after dark. Like, we were we were yeah. in very densely populated places and we'd just go chill and like find a park bench and just you know watch people fucking run around and play sports and shit. Have it was cool. Lit. I liked it. Watch but then yeah, going, yeah, through, Central Park's going through the city afterwards was like, uh, this is a bit dicey. Yeah. I don't know. I love, I mean, I love both. I love being in like Times Square and just watching all the fucking freaks. <laughs> Shout There's out to a lot freaks. of them. The, Dude, there was this, uh, there was this guy once when I was there who was standing next to a DeLorean and was like charging 10 people, $10 to take pictures with his DeLorean. And you know, you know, there's a bunch of like street actors and stuff. They're like, oh, yeah. you know, they're just dressed hey, in like I'm an Spider Elmo Man. outfit. It's like, hey, give me, pay me five dollars. Your kid can fucking take a picture of hey, Elmo. I'm Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, but this, so this guy with his DeLorean was charging like ten dollars to take pictures with it. And I remember I came back like 
half an hour later and the guy was getting arrested and he just broke <laughs> into a dude's DeLorean who was like actually there like up in a building and that was like his DeLorean. Oh, some- no <laughs> he, just, way. He, bro- he broke into it and then like the he broke into it specifically to pose as it was his as like a hustle to like make a couple hundred bucks really yeah. quick as like yo <laughs> 10 bucks you can take a pic you can sit in my driver's what seat in my delorean and take a picture. <laughs> ignore just, the glass everywhere that's bold it's such that's, a magical that's so bold that it's like you just let him be yeah away. that's what i'm saying <laughs> it's just it's, yeah, it's, no. it's magical yeah, time school was fucking terrifying York. it was no it was awesome I, I i did love it but man it is like there's just a million things going on there's like 10 street performances like 100 fucking like old mexican women dressed up as like mickey mouse and shit um mm. there's like there's the guys who try and <laughs> give is. you like try and give you their cds they're like mixtape dude it's a, it's a, it's a relic of only apparently like chicago and new york it's left but yeah like people are people it is still very much a thing to hand out your mixtape in but like no, Times square but i think yeah. it's kind of a like it's not to launch their career i think it's literally to kind of scam you because i i heard the same thing on sleepy cabin years ago so i knew in advance that was what it was because they give it to you as though it's like a freebie like oh here's you know i'm trying to get my name out there here's a mixtape yeah. it's a fucking cd in 2024 so you're like oh yeah yeah i'll have a free cd i guess i'll have to f- find some way to play it but i'll figure yeah, it out but, appa- for, but apparently yeah they'll give it to you and so yeah. now you're holding it and so there's like the social contract of like I yeah. have this thing. And, they, and they refuse happen, to take that it happens back. happens a lot here you know? in Texas. And then they'll be like, yeah, give me, give me, give me money, give me money. And you give them like $10. And they're like, no, give me $20. Yeah. And th- yeah. it was funny when I was there because I knew that. But while we were walking, that was happening. And I heard a guy with a New York accent arguing with one of those dudes. He was like, no, that's not what you fucking said it was when you gave it to me, man. Like, fuck you. And I was like, surely you should know not to like take right. a yeah. mixtape from a random guy if you live here. Yeah. Be <laughs> one of the my friends you just- learn as a kid. Don't cross the road I mean, without looking. Don't take someone's mixtape. Say you don't like hip hop. <laughs> that isn't necessarily something I specifically knew about, but just like kind of anybody with that vibe, me and my friends would just fuck with and just be like, oh no, we don't want your mixtape, man. But like, dude, you got like a Walkman or something? Just pop it in there. We could all listen to it together. We'll buy you a slice or something. Come hang out. <laughs> He's like, no, I really think you got to listen to this like at home. And it's like, no, man, dude, I bet you're... That's fucking funny. Where, where, where'd you get your start? Like, who's your you put favorite? The headphones in and who's your? Just... And he, the dude's like trying to make. The dude's trying to make money, so by like you wasting his time, you're like, you're like yeah, actively you're just, getting in the way of that. So it, ruining he, his hourly. It goes from like him being obsessed with talking to you to like him being like, please leave me alone. Yeah, please leave yeah, me. Yeah, it's yeah. a very, it's a very beautiful switch in the power dynamic. <laughs> there, one of the one of the guys who tried to do that in Times Square tried to play off my white guilt, which I thought was funny. Don't he you want to help, like, black man? No, when well, he was, he tried to. It was, it was obviously a black guy giving me his fucking mixtape, so I was like, I was like, oh no, no, sorry, man, I'm good. And he's like, I come in, dap, dap up a brother, and I'm like, oh no, I'm good. Because I literally, I'm not kidding. I think if I did, he would have then put the di- like when I came into dap me, would have fucking swapped it for the di- CD or some shit. And then he started being like, like magic trick. But then he started head. being like, do you want to come in, bro? Show some, show some love for a black man. And I was like, I like you guys. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you, you I like your people, guilt. but I'm not no, in the for a mixtape. <laughs> I just walk. I just, you know, all you can do is just say nothing because, like, they've got nothing to play off in. As soon yeah, as you start yeah. get, like talking, they'll follow you a block, being like, "Yo, yeah, what well, you said, you know." But yeah, <laughs> it was it was funny. They I felt racist, mind. even though I shouldn't have. <laughs> Did you see any people in speedos and nothing else, just like dancing yeah, there was, around on the street? Yep. Yeah, there was yeah. a guy who looked like Classic. fucking um, was it Billy Ray Cyrus. With a just an American really really play, playing a yep. guitar or some shit. Oh yeah, the naked cowboy, well. classic. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good guy. Yeah. Good guy. That was fun. <laughs> yeah, no, I liked. Uh, uh, Do you guys see bubblegum shrimp? We did. Yo, we went into the raising canes because Emily wanted to try it, and there was like. There's no fucking seats anywhere because it was Times Square, so fair enough. But there was this one bitch sitting there reading a book with like her bags like on the chairs taking up a four-person table with no food she was just sit, just some bitch sitting there reading a book but it's like also it's raising cans there's like a million people and they'd be the worst ambience to read a book because central park's like fucking you know 20 minutes away just walk there read your book yeah. there instead of taking up a seat from f- that four people could sit at in a restaurant see that's the boldness of a woman in new york to do that but then you need the boldness of a New Yorker to tell her to fucking kill herself and let you sit down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She, she says, no, you take like all that. her shit on the floor and sit down and strike up a conversation with her. No, I mean, I'm not tech. I'm not really built like that either. But if I was, 
if if I dead if I desperately needed that seat, you just gotta you just gotta <laughs> you just gotta make her back down. Yeah, you know, she's playing. You she's playing. You gotta put her in your inner place as a she's man. She's playing on the on the on the on the fear and the societal <laughs> structures of which you were born. But her, a New Yorker, does not respect those same societal structures. But if you call her on that, she'll have nothing. You see, she's we're afraid. I'm, I'm much she's a lonely closer. child. The Commonwealth is still very much British uh, rules, which is you get very mad at people for fucking up for very small things like that or not knowing how to queue, but you don't do anything about it. You just get mad at it internally and then complain <laughs> on a podcast later. That's that's the British like way that. of dealing with that sort of shit. And you know what? It serves us pretty well. True. <laughs> True. I'm trying to think but of it, any it, other... Yeah. Did you see those... Uh, you see those big, like just in the middle of like times square there's just like those big like uh bleachers oh, oh yeah yeah we were gonna go up the, dude what are those bleachers like two for two days we were there they were fully locked off like you just couldn't go up them i so, never it's, it's, it's literally just the bleachers dude it's, it's literally really in the middle of times square at all times right where like that iconic picture of like the two lanes diverge into a non Chicago has a shit too. hole yeah. where it's like and there's like this building that comes to a point and it kind of like splits. It's like, it's like a yeah, very flat iron. R like right fucking there is just a set of uh, metal bleachers. It's not, that's for <laughs> the, the only that's thing for I the parade, right? Because Chicago has it too. I watched Yeah, but the it's there uh, always. Yeah, it's always there. Like yeah, just in the scene. middle of the road. <laughs> yeah. Is it always it's for the parade? I also kind of figured it was just a spot people can go sit down and just, you know, do the. I'm in Times Square. Take a picture. <laughs> here. Well, yeah. Yeah. It just seems like a huge waste of space and yeah. one of the most. It is most, hilarious like, to look at. It's just it is yeah, straight up just up. like it's like every half a high inch of stadium. <laughs> yeah, it's like every inch of Times Square is worth like a thousand dollars a fucking millisecond, and then there's just like a huge <laughs> just, fucking yeah. set of steel bleachers in the middle of the fucking road. Yeah, Al Qaeda should have targeted that. It, just the bleachers. exactly. <laughs> Sir, they hit the was... New York bleachers. <laughs> yeah. No, no. George just doesn't even give a shit. He's like, good. <laughs> good. I'm going to take it. 300 of the most annoying anyway. people just died. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. But, so I, I stayed in Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen was all right. It was, there was some good food around, but it was a bit it was a bit sketchy. Gordon Ramsay was not there. I really Dare liked um, the Upper West Side was really nice. That was cool. <laughs> yeah. That's the other thing about Hell's Kitchen. You just hear those fucking symbols every two every seconds. Every time you turn someone around. Someone fucks up their <laughs> souffle. It's, it pisses you off. Um... Our apartment was fucking miserably small. I can't remember. Yeah, I've already talked about my trip much on here. The the we stayed in this like hotel thing where literally it was the uh. bed, glass wall, bathroom. So like Please. whoever you're there with, you're just listening to them shit and do everything. It got to the point where we had to wear like if one of us had to go to the bathroom, it was like the other one had to put headphones on and like play music. Because you're literally like you're you may as well just be in the room with them. And then on top of that, the the room the whole building must have been a fucking leaning tower of pizza because the door a to pizza. close like yeah you're in New York brother yeah true leaning tower of pizza, the door wouldn't close properly to the bathroom so the other person had to like bolt us in like put bags and shit in the way to keep it fully closed yeah anyway. <laughs> that's so awesome that was, that was, so that was that's a good that was time. house kitchen upper west side was nice it was the most nice food around there it was chill um central park i really liked uh yeah that's pretty much what i remember were you only in uh manhattan yeah no we didn't go anywhere else we we were uh oh yeah why do they call it woman hatton <laughs> True. Yeah. Well, that's what I was saying. Anyway, I think next time we'll probably not be in Manhattan because <laughs> it was. Well, that's what I was gonna early. say. I mean, that's that's kind of. I mean, Manhattan has its uh, has its perks and its upsides, especially if you go there with a purpose. But if you mm. really wanna, if you really just wanna fucking, and obviously Central Park is epic. If you wanna motherfucking vibe, if you wanna motherfucking, if you wanna just walk around and find shit and experience food mm. and beautiful culture and shit. Yeah, all the other I mean not Staten Island yeah, you gotta hit up the 7-Elevens yeah. my favorite is Brooklyn but Brooklyn the Bronx and Queens bro that's that's where I mean obviously I certain parts next... of it are horrible but yeah why isn't it called the other parts of it <laughs> it was called Kings until 10 years ago when until Joe Biden woke, tra transitioned yeah, into Queens yeah <laughs> they them Hatton next time you guys come we'll go to Brooklyn 
and I'll show yes. I'll show you my stomping ground. No, I'd love yeah. to. Yeah, be a good unfortunately, time. James was unable to make it to uh, to New York because of uh, yeah. moving arrangements. But uh, I, would, yeah. I would love to have a, a a proper. Well, Ghost Gum did come, who isn't a New Yorker, but he has been a few times, so he showed Don't us around. Come. Thankfully, he's a Jew Yorker. Shout out! Hey, what the. Dude. F- I'll show you where all the Jews came out of the walls in Brooklyn. <laughs> really? We can where see the Jewish there? tunnels. We'll, we'll we'll wait there. Yeah, show us the Jewish tunnels. It was like right when I got over the bridge into into Brooklyn. It was like eight o'clock. I'll try to replicate the experience. We'll drive to New Jersey just to drive over the Brooklyn Bridge at a very specific time of of day and year, and hopefully the Jews will all converge out of all the walls and sewers again. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be crawling out like Elden Ring fucking Dude, fodder. literally though, it was thousands of them from every direction, all Hasidic Jews dressed in the same clothes. It was horrifying. Shut up. <laughs> it's horrifying. I mean, just uh, not because of uh, their Judaism at all, but like, dude, imagine, imagine a thousand of the same people. Scared.